Get ready to uncover 10 surprising facts about the 4th of July and the signing of the Declaration of Independence that you probably didn't know. Today, we're diving into some fascinating and little-known facts about the 4th of July and the American Declaration of Independence. From the real date the Declaration of Independence was signed to how the holiday evolved, we're going to uncover some historical nuggets that might just change the way you celebrate Independence Day forever. So grab your sparklers, settle in, and let's get started. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing content. Let's kick things off with a mind-blowing fact. The Declaration of Independence wasn't actually signed on July 4th. July 4th, 1776, was the day the Continental Congress officially adopted the Declaration of Independence, declaring separation from British rule. But the actual signing? That happened later. Most of the delegates signed the official parchment copy on August 2, 1776. So while we celebrate Independence Day on July 4th to commemorate the adoption, the physical act of signing occurred on a different day. This was a monumental step, a turning point that set the stage for the birth of a nation. It was a more drawn-out process, like sending a group text where everyone needs to hit send individually. That's right, almost a whole month later, the delegates took their time to ensure everything was perfect, making sure every detail was in place. This careful process was crucial for the birth of the United States, marking the beginning of a new era. Let's talk about John Adams, our nation's second president who played a pivotal role in the fight for independence. Adams believed that July 2nd was the real day for celebration. Why July 2nd? That was the day in 1776 when the Second Continental Congress voted in favor of Richard Henry Lee's resolution for independence. Adams even wrote to his beloved Abigail, the second day of July 1776 will be the most memorable epic in the history of America. He believed it would be celebrated by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. Talk about foreshadowing, right? Except things didn't quite go as Adams predicted. The 4th of July, the day the Declaration of Independence was adopted, became the day etched in the hearts and calendars of Americans. Adams went to his grave believing July 2nd should be the day. Despite the nation's choice, his belief in July 2nd's significance remains a fascinating historical footnote. Imagine the first few 4th of July celebrations. Forget the massive fireworks displays and elaborate parades. The early Independence Day celebrations were much more low-key. Think small, community-based gatherings with public readings of the Declaration of Independence. These early celebrations were about expressing gratitude, reflecting on sacrifices made, and reaffirming commitment to the ideals outlined in the Declaration. It was a time for communities to unite, to share a sense of pride and purpose. It's fascinating to see how the way we celebrate has evolved over time, from those humble beginnings to the grand spectacles we see today. But at its core, the spirit of Independence Day remains the same, a celebration of freedom, unity, and the pursuit of happiness. Today we honor those early traditions while adding our own modern twists, like fireworks and parades, to keep the spirit alive. While the first few Independence Day celebrations were more subdued, things started to change in 1777. Philadelphia, the birthplace of the Declaration, decided to throw the first official, organized celebration of Independence Day. They pulled out all the stops, well, at least the 18th century version of all the stops. Parades with soldiers and bands the booming of cannons in a 13-gun salute, and the dazzling spectacle of fireworks illuminated the night sky. This celebration wasn't just about having a good time, it was a display of defiance, a way to boost morale during the Revolutionary War. It was a powerful message to the world, and to Great Britain, that the newly declared nation was here to stay. The celebration was a resounding success, setting the stage for future Independence Day celebrations to become bigger, bolder, and more extravagant. The streets of Philadelphia were filled with joy and patriotism, marking a significant moment in American history. Before fireworks became synonymous with the 4th of July, early Americans turned to other methods to express their patriotic joy. Bells, often rung from churches and public buildings, became a sonic symbol of freedom. They filled the air with their joyous peals, echoing through the streets and countryside. Bonfires blazing brightly against the night sky served as beacons of unity, drawing communities together. People would gather around these crackling flames, sharing stories, songs, and perhaps a tankard or two of ale as they celebrated their hard-won independence. 
These traditions, while simple, were deeply meaningful. They were a way for ordinary people to participate in the festivities, to express their patriotism, and to connect with their communities. Over time, these celebrations evolved, but the spirit of unity and patriotism remains unchanged. For nearly a century after the signing of the Declaration of Independence, the 4th of July was celebrated with varying enthusiasm across the United States. In 1870, it was officially declared a federal holiday. This meant a day off for federal employees. It solidified the 4th of July as a significant national date, further cementing its place in American hearts and minds. Fireworks and parades became a staple of the celebration, bringing communities together in a shared sense of patriotism and joy. In a twist of historical irony, both Thomas Jefferson, the primary author of the Declaration of Independence, and John Adams, another key figure in the fight for independence, passed away on July 4th. They both died on the same day, July 4, 1826, exactly 50 years to the day after the adoption of the Declaration of Independence. Adams, in his final hours, reportedly uttered the words, Thomas Jefferson survives. Little did he know that his friend and fellow founding father had passed away just hours earlier at his home in Monticello. Their deaths on the 50th anniversary of American independence were seen by many as a sign from the universe, a testament to the enduring legacy of their actions. This remarkable coincidence continues to fascinate historians and patriots alike, adding a layer of mystique to the 4th of July. While the 4th of July wouldn't become a federal holiday until 1870, Massachusetts was ahead in recognizing its importance. A hotbed of revolutionary fervor, it became the first state to officially recognize July 4th in 1781, just five years after the Declaration of Independence. This set a precedent for other states, paving the way for its national recognition. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of the American Revolution. Celebrations today still echo that revolutionary spirit from parades to fireworks the legacy lives on. Every year on the 4th of July, a time-honored tradition takes place in Washington, D.C. At the National Archives, where the original Declaration of Independence is enshrined, a park ranger reads the Declaration of Independence aloud, from beginning to end. It's a powerful moment, a chance to hear the words of those brave revolutionaries spoken aloud, their hopes, their dreams, their unwavering belief in the right to self-government. The reading is a reminder that the ideals enshrined in the Declaration are not relics of the past, but living, breathing principles that continue to guide us today. It's a call to action, a challenge to uphold the values of liberty, equality and justice for all. As the crowd listens, you can feel the weight of history and the enduring spirit of the American people. This annual reading serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring power of these words and the ongoing journey to realize their promise. The signing of the Declaration of Independence wasn't met with universal applause. Loyalists remained fiercely loyal to the British crown. They opposed the break from Britain, often facing social isolation and persecution. Many viewed the revolution as a betrayal, a reckless gamble leading to chaos and ruin. While history remembers the victors, it's crucial to acknowledge the complexities of the American Revolution. The story of the 4th of July is more than just a celebration, it's a tapestry of diverse perspectives. Thanks for watching these 10 surprising facts about the 4th of July. If you enjoyed learning these little known facts about the 4th of July and the Declaration of Independence, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more historical insights. As you gather with friends and family this Independence Day, remember that the holiday is more than just fireworks and barbecues. It's a celebration of the enduring spirit of America, a testament to the power of ideas to change the world. Enjoy the festivities and stay safe. Please like and subscribe to the channel.